Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. We got a lot of games to cover, so let's get to it. In our first game this week, we had the Cowboys come away with a seven point win. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Boomer, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. Raheem Brock is probably the one that most leaps out at you. He'll be out for the rest of the regular season. There's a chance, however, they'll get him back for the playoffs. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. Julius Peppers will be on the sidelines for a while, so this defense will need to do some reshuffling in his absence. The team doctors have reported a pulled hamstring, and he'll be out for six weeks. Now we'll move on to our top story of the day. Deshaun Foster is going to find himself on the shelf, and that will be a major blow to his team. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's send it back to you. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Raiders pick up win number two. Bird stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Tyrone Calico hauled in over 150 yards receiving and helped his Titans beat the Cardinals. In the Queen City, Cincinnati, we had the Bengals get nipped by three points. Broncos, Chiefs. Priest Holmes would certainly like to help his team get into the end zone. And he's just set seven yards behind the line of scrimmage now. Looks to bounce outside, does so, gets a block. Touchdown, 10 yards. The Chiefs go on to win this by the final score of 10 to six. Bounce out. Down at Pro Player Stadium, we had the Dolphins get squeezed out by four points. The Seahawks got 300 plus yards from their offense in their victory at Seattle Stadium. The Falcons won at home, but will take to the road next week to meet the Panthers. The Ravens win yet again this week and keep their impressive streak alive. Chad Pennington went to the end zone four times and helped his Jets beat the Steelers. Texans, Colts. Trent Green calling signals at his own 40-yard line, rolls, then fires a slant. Look at him go. He could go all the way. 60-yard score. The Colts go on to win this by the final score of 31-7. to In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Eagles pick up win number two. And in our final game, we had the Bears come away victorious. All right, Chris, let's switch gears and talk about players that'll have new homes in the National Football League as free agency continues to play such a huge role in determining a team's makeup. Pratt is going to find himself with a new club, and he'll be in a new tax bracket, too, $1.5 million. So that'll just about do it. But before we go, I'm going to toss out a few game balls to my prime time players. Each and every one of these men had a week to remember. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.